Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ashes Cricket 2009 and part 3 of our playthrough in today's episode. We continue our journey, I guess, our defence in this innings. We're 154 for 7. We still require a, a, another 33 or so uh, to avoid the follow-on. Thank you for the support on the series so far. I really do appreciate it and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and hopefully uh, we'll do a little bit better than last time out. <laughs> Yeah, a uh, little bit nervous starting out, but uh, you know, got Peterson on the other at the other end on uh, 72 as well. So, Very oh, good what time. a shot from Stuart Broad, and that's for four runs. Absolutely like brilliant. For the bowlers, there really is no margin for error. We are going to be uh, just trying to take advantage of the the short deliveries. Yeah, nice shot. This one might not run away all the way to the boundary. For two. You definitely get three out of it. Good running. <clears throat> three more onto the scoreboard. I tell you what, this would be a, a fairly competitive uh, 2020 tool. Beautiful. Oh, brilliant! Start. Absolutely brilliant. No need to run for that one. That's four. From that KP. Shot. He really got into position beautifully there. Bowler really needs to keep it tighter. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Through the gap and another four. Great footwork. Beautiful shot. He's found the gap. So many runs from this over. Oof, I thought that might not uh, go well for us. That's we could potentially get three here. Mm, never mind. If we'd got three there, it would have uh, been ideal. But a uh, couple of wicket, a uh, couple of runs there. I'm very, very happy. And uh, Peterson moves on into the 80s now. Stu Broad not doing too bad either. We've got off spin coming out now. Shot. I'm going to get back for two here. Talk about fast bowlers hunting in pairs, but how important do you really think bowling partnerships are, Tony? There is a lot of talk about fast bowlers hunting in pairs, but uh, to be perfectly honest, what you want more than anything else is good fast bowlers. And uh, if there's only one of those, well, that's just going to have to do. If you have two really good fast bowlers, then of course you are going to create all sorts of problems for the opposition. I think that is where this um, talk about fast bowlers and indeed spinners, good spinners hunting in pairs come from. They, uh, they keep up the pressure and they keep up the rage, so to speak. Uh, certainly in my time, playing against the likes of Lillian Thompson, it would have been a bit easier had there only been one of those two and a little bit of respite when uh, he wasn't bowling. The same, of course, applies to the great West Indian combinations. No the likes of uh, Holding and Roberts, for example, were uh, absolutely deadly. And had either Holding or Roberts not been there, there would have been a little time to recover. That could have went badly. Still 12 runs to avoid the follow-on here. shot but uh, they've got a very intelligent field set up here <laughs> that, that could have been out there but uh, not a bad over five from, the over. Five from it and 176 for seven Lead a new over Brett Lee comes in the ball. Oh, brilliant shot through the gap for Kevin Peterson. We're going to at least two. get two here. It will be two. That 
They're having a shout. Well, that's absolutely hilarious. I mean, look how f how much that was missed the wickets by. That's crazy. Just making sure we we'll keep Peterson in. Don't want to be going for any silly shots. Tremendous. Brilliant. Brilliant. Anything wide, we're going to just go for it. And it's another four for KP. Bit of a slower ball there from uh, Brett Lee. Another well timed shot. We'll come back for That's two here. Back for a second. Good running. Mm, another over, and that's uh, lunch actually. Oh. Whatever session it is, um, not entirely sure, but um, there we go. 92 uh, unbeaten so far from Kevin Peterson. Only eight more to get his century as we're coming out for uh, what is uh, yes the the second session of the day. Marcus North to open us up here. Yeah, nice running. Right, very interesting coming uh, round the wicket to ball off spin at a right hander. That's a really good shout. No response from the umpire. Let's have a look at the action replay. I think that was outside the line. But uh, there's huge cracks in the in the surface. It, uh, I certainly don't. It, it, it unnerves us that they that they're doing this. So just play a nice safe on drive. Another single for the batsman. The ball just runs out into the covers. Just a little bit in the air, but uh, we should come back for, come back for two here. I think we've avoided the follow-on, which is uh, a great achievement from where we were. Yes, we have, so... Be very happy with that. Come back for two. Yeah, nice run in. And I'll tell you what, Stuart Broad is, is chipping along nicely as well. Uh, particularly in today's episode. And can we get back? No, no. Back oh, we could have as well. I realise he knocked it behind himself. Seven, but uh, Broad holds the, the strike. Uh, 25 off 26 for him so far. To start a new over. And uh, Brett Lee. And once again, he's got the edge. Well, that could have quite easily been uh, curtains for Stewart there. That's a lovely shot. There's somebody out there, though. Peterson seven away from his sentry. Great stroke play. That might go for four. It does. That's four more. Well, the bowler won't like that too much. That was a confident shot. You just say too short from them. But, uh... No! 
Peterson gone for 97. A sore ball. Oh, that is devastating. A sore ball and it was in the air and well caught at the end. But Peterson, a wonderful 97 there. And uh, and now down to the, the true tail so, end. New batsman at the crease. And of course, um, Monty Panesar. But uh, that is that is gutting. And see what Anderson can do here. Eh? Not a bad start. We might as well go for it at this stage. Bats on a coming back for a second. I'm going to risk runs as well. Try and get 250. I mean, Stuart Broad's still at the crease. He's playing well. That's gone high in the air. Ah, well. Top edge there. Broad gone for 26. And, uh... Well. An absolute concentration required now. I'd say that that's, uh... We're coming towards the end now. No ball bowl. The ball just runs out. Uh, he's gone. He's gone. Anderson out for three, and that is us all out then. For 200 in the end. And, uh, yeah, disappointing, you would have to say. Started off nicely with Cook and Strauss, but uh, a little bit of a, a collapse uh, in the middle of the innings. Kevin Peterson holding us together in the end there uh, and taking us past the follow-on requirement. So, yeah. Let's see how we do with, uh, with the ball this time. Beautiful timing. Nice shot. Wow. That's run away for four. <laughs> Let's have a look at that again. And as always, just brilliant. And he gets his reward. We've got him. Phil Hughes gone for four in the first over. What a brilliant start. Anderson caught and bowled, and here comes Ricky Ponton. Well, that really was a fine piece of fielding. The bowler concedes four from the over. So Andrew Flint off now. What can he do? Right out of the top draw. Mm, it's a nice shot. I'm not sure I agree with the footwork, well, but uh, nonetheless. Nothing scored there. I want to try and work it into those cracks. If we can. Good over from uh, Freddie Flint off. And the end of the over. Back to Jimmy Anderson. Just 
I'm working into one of those cracks here. No, that's a no ball. That was a sloppy piece of cricket. And potentially we could go for an off cutter. Right in that crack there. Good ball. Oh, we got him! We got him! Well, that's a really long walk back when you haven't scored many runs. And Ricky Ponton is gone. For a duck, straight through his legs onto the off stump. And well, Australia reduced to 9 for 2 here. Well, that's a cracking oh, shot. Oh, well. Michael Clark, first ball. Wax it into the crowd. Miles. Crazy. Oh, and he's going for it again. That is insane. He's really treating this bowling with absolute contempt. Wow. Beautiful oh. <laughs> three, three in a row. Shot. Give him some Let's have a look wow. at the replay. No Absolutely crazy that over. Those are taking a bit of stick out there. Well, he's mistimed that. It's run away off the edge. Really strong start for us in terms of ball. And obviously that, that over aside where Michael Clark just went to town on us. But another wicket. That's out. Yet again, the bat Simon Katnich gone for four. New and well. Australia now three down. Edged. That was edged. This is no run going there. incredibly well. I just need to keep going. Good shot. A good stop, too. The ball just ran. Oh, nice into shot. The covers. Nice shot. Batsmen are looking for two. Try three. They did try, but uh, so they were stopped in their tracks. Quality time. Oh, that's there. a nice shot for four. That was uh, beautifully put away for four. Splendid stroke. Six runs come from the over then. Well, and we get a fourth wicket. Tell you what, that was a, a good leave, uh, a brave one. Quite fancy using Graham Swan in uh, one of those cracks, though. Nice shot. Nice shot. Came back for a second. <clears throat> no ball. One more to sundries. Brilliant Ooh. timing. That's over the top and four. Well, oh, lovely timing. He played that beautifully. Let's try and catch him out here. That might be another four, though. Oh, four dear. Well, if you want to show the kids the perfect way to play that shot, there's a fine example. And the end of the over. Let's flint off once again. 
fine. Sort them out. No run scored. Beautiful timing. Oh, nice shot. Wow. Well, the ball glanced. Like that too much. I don't think we're we're keeping a bad line on length and oh this could be out. Not out. Oh. A difficult decision, but the umpire says not out. And from another angle. Well, that is mighty close. Well, I wonder what Hawkeye made of that. Uh, I might have been inclined to give that out. That was mightily close. <laughs> This really is impressive scoring now. Yes, he's given it. He's given it. Straight in front. No doubt about that one. That's out. And Michael Clark gone for 21. And Australia in big, big trouble here. He would say that was virtually the same delivery. He's gone for 21 in Australia. 49 for 4. Let's bring Graham Swan in. See what he can make of this. Make of these cracks. Gone for it. Oh Out. No, he's dropped it. Never mind. They may Could try that again though. That. Could have another chance here. And this time we get him. He didn't he's learn his out. lesson. Fails to follow the ball and he's out. A slight fumble but safely pouched. Let's take a look at that from another angle. Real concentration required from the new batsman here. Australia in massive doo doo here. Very, very fortunate there. No run there, they simply can't get it away. <laughs> He's hit that very hard. He really struck that beautifully. The crowd really enjoyed that one. Well, Let's have a look 56 for five here. Seven runs came from that over. The question is, do we go for Anderson or Panasar? But. Uh, Anderson has been bowling quite beautifully. Oh, so great far. shot. That's definitely not the right line to bowl to this batsman. It's high in the air. Oh, it's over the ropes. Tremendous timing. Well, this is crazy. Absolutely effortless. He hardly seemed to hit it. <laughs> and another one. My word. Given that some stick. Six runs. I'll try a slower delivery here. At least stopped them just absolutely obliterating us. He's hit that well. Wow. He absolutely crazy. Much, continued with the shot anyway and hit it miles. The crowd enjoyed that shot. That's the end of another over. 
Well, we'll do a couple of more overs, I think. I think uh, an over of Graham Swan off spin is, is required. Very well played. No shot. Four all the way. Six. Oh, that's gone a long way. The bowler might just have to put a little extra into his next delivery. Great fielding. Yeah. It's always tough bowling against left-handers, I think, for off-spinners. Oh, dear. Wide ball signalled by the umpire. It's even tougher if... Uh, Ball like that. So we're going to get a couple of balls at the the right hander, which I personally prefer on this game. Do you think there's more variety in spin bowling now than there ever has been in the past? The variety in spin bowling these days is interesting. Um, certainly, there's quite a bit of it. We've got Shane Warne on the one hand down in Australia. We've got Mathaya Murli Diran bowling absolutely brilliantly for Sri Lanka. And then there is uh, the next crop of spinners, and there are quite a lot of those too, guys like Victoria in New Zealand, and uh, of course, plenty of others around the world. Not quite as good as the first two that I mentioned. Um, I'm not too sure that there's more variety in spin. I can remember playing against an Indian team that had four spinners and absolutely no fast bowlers. So certainly in years gone in uh, places like India and Pakistan, there were lots and lots of spinners. But at the moment, we certainly have got some great spinners around and it is very, very good for the game. Well, we'll finish off this over he and, uh, and then Can they run him out? We'll bring the episode to an end Fine piece of fielding. But uh, I feel like we've played fairly well today, you know. Um, avoided the follow on, which is important. And uh, getting five wickets is, is no mean feat. Um, One more to Sunday. Uh, I went for it. And got a six. Slightly annoying. Exquisite shot. Oh. Got six. Wow. He's played 50 for Michael Hussey. Really and what an innings he is having. 50 off 21 deliveries. But that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular cricket content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.